Hi everyone, this is Carolina here, and today I want to show you simple ways that you can digitalize your existing content uh, and how to make your PDFs editable. Uh, so I've been reading a lot of things around uh, different uh, groups, and um, I know that a lot of teachers are struggling with this big change of uh, incorporating technology into your lessons. Um, and I know it's really hard, uh, especially when you already have all the stuff that you have made that you use in the classroom. So I was trying to think of ways that um, you can maybe simplify it and take what you already have and just digitalize it. So kind of don't reinvent the wheel. So just kind of digitalize it, I guess, in this case. Um, so you don't have to start over, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to show you um, how to do that or... And again, save some steps here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to create a Google um, slide. So you want to open up a new Google slide. Now, um, I actually switched the page setup on mine um, to make it look like a handout. So to do that, you go to File, Page Setup. I'll just do it one more time for you guys. File, Page Setup. And then you would press Custom and then I wrote eight and a half by 11 to just make it look in the page. Um, now I have a series of stuff that I, um, pictures of uh, some of workbook pages uh, from uh, the content that I use for my kids. Uh, you can take, um, again, PDFs that you have and add them here. But for what I'm gonna show you this activity that I wanted to digitalize for my kids, um, this is what it's gonna end up looking, looking like after. Okay, so I want this picture right here. See, like if I give this to my kids and I have them type on it, um, it just be a little bit difficult because they can move the picture. So I'm gonna show you how to make this into a background in a very simple way. Okay, so to do that, you want to use uh, your master slide and you wanna edit your master slide. And what that is, is for example, right now, when you open a uh, Google slide, you usually have all these options you right click of different layouts so these are the layout options that you have um when you go to edit master slide what you are doing is you can create your own layout to use um and the good thing about that oh, yeah i'll just show you this example so if i am creating this one and if i put this picture here when i go to my slide and I right click and I go to apply layout, you're gonna see this picture there. And if I click this as an option of a layout that I want, what's great about it is that it makes this picture into a background, which means that the kids cannot move it. So then if you want them to do something on the page, if I want them, if I insert a text box for them to write on, they could just write here and it wouldn't alter or move anything else, which is a great thing. So what I did though, um, I didn't want this part here of my um, sheet. So I actually took this, double clicked it and see this black line that shows up. I'm going to crop it. So I ended up cropping it. And then I'm going to copy this into that, um, master slide so i'm again i go to go to slide and it master and we'll go back to this one so i don't want this whole picture i just want this okay and this is where i want it okay so then now when i go back that's going to be updated here to slide and again this one um like if i had another page here like if it was blank page we'll change the layout so if i wanted that I would go to apply layout and I would pick the slide. And again, the whole idea is you can move this, which is so great. Um, and then I would just add a text box for them to write and they could just you know, answer the questions here. Okay, so that's one. Again, you could take anything you already have, existing content and just um, add it to a page and then have them work on there. Okay, so that is that show you so a uh, very simple another activity i had uh was for them to um describe write a few sentences describing this comic in spanish so um all i did was i googled garfield comic and then i just this is the one that i use that just came up so right click copy image 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it in a master slide. So I'm going to go to slide, edit master, and I'm just going to press enter to just do another slide, a separate one. So here's my comic and I can adjust it wherever it is that you end up putting it. It's where it's going to show up um, when you apply the layout on the other page. So then here, I'm going to right click, apply layout, and here it is. So now the kids cannot move this. This is great. Um, and then I would just put a, a text box for them to, um, to write. And then you can also write directions like, you know, like, escribe. I'm a Spanish teacher, so I'm like, escribe. Cinco, sorry, I can't type right now. Escribe. Cinco oraciones. De la foto. Okay, so then they were dressed right. Five, five sentences of the picture. Okay, so, so that's that one. So again, you can take any picture and then they can write about it. So in this other one, um, I have this activity that um, I have this uh, packet that I have for my kids um, and it just has different activities that I made. But um, when I gave this to them last year, what happened was that anytime they would type on it, it would um, move the pages. So then um, when I would assign the next page, they couldn't find it because everything got thrown off. <laughs> um, so this year, I'm just going to be assigning them separate to them. Uh, so for example, this was an assignment again that I wanted to do. So for example, this one, if I want them to do this, I can use the snippet tool to take a screenshot of it. Then I'm gonna copy. Okay, the snippet tool is here, so you can actually search that just so you guys know. The snippet tool is wonderful, snipping tool. Okay. And then, let's see, I could just add my picture here that I just got. And what I'm going to show you, though, what I'm going to make, I'll show you here. This is what it looks like. So, to turn this into an activity where they can drag uh, and match. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do right now. And I'm also going to show you how to turn that. Um, actually, let me start with that. Let me start with that. Okay. So to do that, I ended up just, uh, again, cropping it because I just wanted the activity to be the matching. Okay. Um, and then um, actually ended up um, copying and pasting this twice. I'm gonna duplicate this. I think I did it three times, sorry. Okay. Yeah, I did. Okay. And then I'm going to crop this one this way. And then this one, I'm gonna crop it this way because I want the other words. Okay. Okay, so right now this is the part that I wanted to be in the background. Um, so for this, this is the part that I'm going to put in the master slide. So I would go to uh, slide, edit, and then I would put it in here. Okay, so that's going to be the part that is not going to move. So then if I go back here and I right click apply layout, you should see this one as an option. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, this and I'm actually gonna use the snippet tool to make it into a picture that they that I can drag around. Um, so I'm going to take the snippet tool and I'm going to just take name, copy, and the copy. So Ah, where'd it go? So control C and then control V. So now here's that word. Okay. So another one would be this one, this one, 
Okay, so you want to copy this, this, and so on. Okay, so then you are then creating these guys. Again, just to give this one. So then you can just set them up and tell them to match the words that you give them. Um, so again, here I just kind of ended up also adding just like a, a blue background so it'd be easier to see the words. Uh, but you get the idea basically. So then they can go and drag and match the ones that they want. Or that, <laughs> where they go, <laughs> not that they want. Uh, so that's that one. Or you can actually even take this activity if you wanted to. Um, so the other way that I did that same activity is I did it so it was uh, matching with the arrows. Um, so you can just have them do this, like match the ones. I just put the arrow. Oh, sorry, it's kind of tricky. And this might be an issue that I might have, but once you figure it out, <laughs> it works, guys. Um. So yeah, so then they can match it that way. Uh, for this one's a little bit simpler, actually. All I did was um, I took that picture, so I cropped this. Okay, because this is the only part I wanted to use. Just made it a little bit bigger. And then this is what I'm going to add into my slides here. So master. I'll just open a new one here. And then I'm going to go back here. Right click. Apply layout. And where's the one I need? This one. And then all I did after was I went to insert and I went to line and then I just picked the arrow and then I just added an arrow here, but I changed the color and you can do whatever color you want. You can do the red and we're just going to make it a little bit thicker so you can like see it. And then I just took that arrow and just duplicate it and put it in each one. So you can do that. I'm just going to get and so on. Okay. Um, the other thing you can do, um, this is the same thing I had from that packet activity. You can have them actually um, do an activity where they're filling in the blank. Uh, so I set it up like this so and they can come here and type um, What is that? It's the answer and the way to do that. Um, it's the same thing. So I took this picture And I used the snipping tool to take a picture of the sheet that I wanted again, so you just go snipping tool So I would do that Snipping tool Let's say with this, and then I'm gonna go to slide, edit master, I'll make a new one, and then again, this is that page. And then when I come back out, I'll just do another applied layout, and I want this one that I just added, okay. And then all I did was um, I went to insert and I added a text box here. But um, I ended up um, just coloring it in like a, like a lighter, maybe like a yellowish tint. Um, let's see. I'm actually going to put a little bit of border. I think it looks a little bit better. Um, and then I just duplicated that. And actually, before I even did that, I kind of uh, picked like a size and a font for them to use, just so when I would check it, it was a little bit, you know, a little bit easier for me to, to read. Um, and obviously, they can change that, but 
I just thought it'd be helpful. So then and I, I duplicate it. Actually, let's make it a little thicker, thinner for me. Um, and then I just duplicate it. I control D, control D, and same here. You just make it longer, and so on. So then that's how I did this one. So I set it up again, they can just type the answer. And I have, again, because I teach Spanish, I put a little accent mark or bank on the bottom just to make it a little bit easier for them. So so that's that one. So that's kind of how you make this one. Um, and again, the idea with the master size of so this is a background now. So you don't have to worry about them moving the pictures or things like that or changing uh, where it is, which like I said, this was an issue because they would start um, typing here. So they would write and then it would mess up the layout. See and everything got moved back. Um, so we're gonna try to avoid that this year. Um, let's see, another thing that you can do. So we did that one. Um, another activity that you can make is you can have them, like here, have them read and then circle the words that are cognates in Spanish. Um, so then I just, same thing, I made this into a background and then I just made the circles for them too. Um, they will use them to uh, circle the words and so on. Uh, so the way I did that is, again, I have that paragraph. And again, I just went to my slides, edit master. Um, here, we'll just make a new one. And then edit that there. So, so this one's still the one that moves. So we want to take that out, right click and apply layout. And then you go to this one. And then what I did with the circles, I just went to insert and I went to shape. And I got the circle. And then I just, um, oops, that's not what I wanted to do, guys. Ignore what I just said. Um, <laughs> I want the inside transparent, but I just wanted this red. And I was just gonna make it a little thicker. Um, and then what I ended up doing is so then if we, they would get one instead of them having to um, copy and paste it, I just duplicated it for them. Um, and then all they had to do was, oh, what's happening? Yeah. But yeah, I just uh, duplicated it for them. And they just put it on top of each other. And that way, if they would grab one, they still have other ones. So you can maybe do an activity like that with them. Um, and then this is just very simple. Like if I want them to just answer questions, so I would just write these questions. But again, I, I want them to just fill in and not move anything. Um, so again, you can type something. And if you want that to stay in place, you would do the same thing. You go to master slides. Um, okay, so this is kind of cool. So here, I want them to type here. You can actually add, um, insert, um, uh, placeholders for it. So if you go here to insert, I want the subtitle one just cause they're small. So I'll put this here. I'm going to put another one. Oh, sorry. Something happened. Things are a little off today. Um, let's try that again. So insert, placeholder. I want this one. Okay. So duplicate that. Put it on here. Duplicate, control D. And that. Okay. So now, when I go back here, Right click, apply layout. Where is it? Here it is. This is what it's going to look like. So it's actually going to have that area for them to type already, which is great. So I didn't, I didn't have to insert the boxes here. 
So you can that, you could do this. Um, let's see. Um, and the last thing, on, let me check my examples that I had made here. So make sure I have everything. And the last thing that I want to point out about master slides. So um, a lot of people say you can actually create your Bitmoji classroom in your master slide, which is totally uh, fine. But the only thing that you want to know though, as far as if you add a video in the master slide, um, the kids are not going to be able to play it or view it unless it's in presentation mode. And also any links that you add within the master slides, they only work um, unless you're also in presentation mode. So if you wanted to do an activity like this where you want them to watch this video and then you want them to like answer these questions, then I would just leave like if this video was part of this. <laughs> I would just leave the video here on top that it's okay if they move it or not um and i think that's it guys um i'm gonna try to keep thinking of ideas or things that you can do um to make your life a little bit easier um but just honestly i think at this this stage i know it's a lot going on but um just take things that you have things activities that you you know that they do well in the classroom and just try to find ways to just apply it um, digitalize it and just put it um, on your slides. <laughs> uh, so I hope this is helpful. Um, I know I just started last week and things are a little crazy. Um, but, you know, at least we're all in this together. Everyone's going through it. Um, all we can do is just try to help each other and share and uh, work together to do our best to help our kids. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, hope you guys uh, like this and it's helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to like and subscribe.